the Republican side, Trump picked up nearly all 95 delegates at stake, extending his lead over Ted Cruz. Despite that, Cruz, who was in the Susquehanna Valley this morning, has turned his sights on Pennsylvania. He held an event at the Antique Auto Museum in Hershey, Dauphin County. News 8's Barbara Barr was there and joins us live. Susan, Senator Cruz downplayed Donald Trump's big win in New York, saying after all, it is his home state. Cruz talked about his big wins out west and is Wisconsin, but he's got an uphill battle here in the Northeast and in Pennsylvania ahead of the primary here, winning voters where he lags in the polls. Now, he told a very supportive crowd here at the museum about his jobs, plan to bring jobs back, also national security. They like him because they say he's a true conservative. Now, Cruz says nobody's going to get to the required 1,237 delegates, and he plans to beat Donald Trump in a contested convention in Cleveland. Republicans are uniting behind our campaign, and Donald is, is terrified of that. And, you know, one of the big reasons, Barbara, that Republicans are uniting behind our campaign is that the stakes are too high in this election. If we nominate Donald Trump, it elects Hillary Clinton. Now, I also talked to Senator Cruz about why he has been struggling here in the Northeast, what he needs to do to win in Pennsylvania, as well as other issues on the economy and foreign policy. We'll have that later on News 8. For now, I'm Barbara Barr, live in Hershey for News 8. Susan? All right, thank you, Barbara. News 8 has just learned Donald Trump will be in Harrisburg tomorrow night. His campaign says Trump will hold a rally at the Farm Show Complex beginning at 7 o'clock. Also tomorrow, Republican John Kasich will campaign in media just outside of Philadelphia. Hillary Clinton will attend two events today in Philadelphia. One of them will be a discussion on gun violence with former Attorney General Eric Holder. News 8's Matt Barcaro is covering the Democratic candidates and we'll have more from the Clinton campaign tonight beginning on News 8 at 5.